top 10 GC riders to look out for at the Giro d'Italia. The 97th edition of the Giro d'Italia starts on Friday the 9th of May in Belfast. It'll spend three days in Ireland before everybody is transported back to Italy where the real battle for the GC will begin. With 2013 winner Vincenzo Nibali not back to defend his title, the overall classification is wide open. Here are 10 to watch at the first Grand Tour of the season. Nairo Quintana Second at last year's Tour de France, Nairo Quintana, along with his Movistar team, have decided to have a crack at winning the Giro d'Italia this year. He's not raced since Tirreno Adriatico in March, but the Colombian mostly relies on focus training to get himself into shape. The steeper climb should suit Quintana, who at only 24 years of age could become the youngest Grand Tour winner since Damiano Cunego in 2004. Cadell Evans Third at this race last year, Cadell Evans returns this year with the Giro as his main season objective. It's been a season of ups and downs so far for Evans, who finished a close second at the Tour Down Under in January, flopped at the Tirreno Adriatico, but then bounced back to finish 7th at the Tour of the Basque Country before winning a stage and the overall at the Giro del Trentino. Time is running out for Evans to add a second Grand Tour to his 2011 Tour de France win, but it would be apt if he managed to do that in a race which saw him shoot to stardom in road racing 12 years ago. Joaquim Rodriguez It's hard to believe that Joaquim Rodriguez is yet to win a Grand Tour. The rider from Katusha has finished in the top four in the overall classification at six of the last seven that he started. The closest of those was in 2012, where he finished an agonising second behind rider Hesedal at this race, after a ding-dong battle which came down to the final day's time trial. The steep climbs of the Giro were well suited to Rodriguez, but in Quintana he'll meet someone with similar characteristics, and it's these two who will start as favourites for the overall victory. Only time will tell how much his crash at Amstel Gold has affected his preparation. Rigoberto Oran Second last year after starting the race at the service of Bradley Wiggins, Rigoberto Oran returns this year as the outright leader for his new team, Omega Pharma Quickstep. Oran started solidly in 2014 with a third place overall at the Tour of Oman, but results since then have been few and far between. A spell of training back home in Colombia was followed by the Tour of Romandy, where he rode at the service of Michal Kwiatkowski. Michele Scarponi Italian Michele Scarponi won the 2011 Giro d'Italia by default after Alberto Contador was retroactively disqualified. He will start with the number one on his back with teammate and defending champion Vincenzo Nibali not returning this year. Scarponi has fallen just short of the podium for the last two editions of the race, but has a talented Astana team working for him this time round. However, if he isn't up to the job, the Kazakh team might be able to rely on Scarponi's young teammate, Fabio Aru. Domenico Pozzavivo Known as the Doctor, Domenico Pozzavivo is a pure climber. That said, his most surprising career result came at last year's Vuelta, where he finished third in a time trial behind Fabian Cancellara and Tony Martin. He went on to finish sixth overall there, his best result at a Grand Tour, but he'll be looking to improve on that at this year's Giro, where he will start as Ajay Desaire's outright leader. Ivan Basso Basso is the only rider in this year's race to have won the Giro on more than one occasion winning in 2006 and again four years later after he'd served a suspension for his involvement in the doping investigation Operation Puerto. Last season was one to forget for Basso, whose best result was a third place on a stage of the Vuelta a Burgos. In a recent interview with Daniel Freib, the Italian stated that he still believes he can win the Giro. Results so far this season haven't suggested great form, but the Italian will have full backing by his Cannondale team, not to mention the home fans. Ryder Heschedal Canadian rider Heschedal was a surprise winner of this race in 2012, pushing a disappointed Rodriguez into second place. It was a tough off-season for the Garmin rider, who admitted to doping back in his mountain bike days, but he'll be back on the start line in Belfast to prove that 2012 was no fluke. Daniel Martin If Heschedal isn't up to the job, his Irish teammate Dan Martin might well be. Martin had a phenomenal season in 2013, and while he started a little slower this year, second at Flesh Wallon and a strong performance prior to an unfortunate fall at Liège show that he's on the right track. 13th in the 2011 Vuelta is Martin's best overall result at the Grand Tour, but at 27 years of age, both he and his team will be looking for him to make the next step on the roads of Italy in May. Rafael Maika Rafael Maika has really flown under the radar so far in 2014, barely being mentioned among the contenders for the Giro, but we think he might pull off a big surprise. Last year he finished 7th overall and was embroiled in a race-long battle with Carlos Betancourt for the white jersey of best young rider. 
Fourth place overall at the Criterium International in March showed that Micah was on the right track and will get a better idea of his form at the Tour of Romandy. Who's your tip for the Maglia Rosa? Let us know down in the comments. To see this year's Giro content, click here. And to subscribe to GCN, click here.